we are continuing the previous exercise we were doing to use the built-in MVC support for UI. There are couple of methods there. We'll be using the we'll be learning the first method now. So let us see how to go about it. If we see our previous exercise, this is the at the rate using HTML dot begin form. Here we have written input elements manually. We wrote this span, we wrote this input element, wrote these names also ourselves. But MVC has a slight built-in support where it will generate these UI elements automatically based on the model that is coming here. It will take a smart decision and generate the UI here automatically. This is how we do. Remove this portion and write here HTML dot editor for model. So by writing this one line of code, the entire UI will be generated for us automatically. Generates the UI. Editor for model. So let us verify it. Run it. Create new record. And you see the UI has been created for us automatically. A text box appears, a text box appears. And we type something here. Click on save and it works perfectly. Now the question is what are the advantages and disadvantages of this? If you ask me, there are no advantages. Except you know that it is possible. We hardly have any control over the UI that is generated for us. There is a better approach which can be used for generating the UI with a much more user control. The approach that we illustrated in the previous example of manually typing in the input controls is not the recommended one. It was just for illustration of the concept. There are better methods and we'll discuss in the coming lectures. But before that, we'll have to discuss how validation can be how validation can be integrated in MBC. We shall learn it in the next lecture.